it's very labor intensive to keep this place going. Uh, but when it's running well without any problems with the machinery and it just rolls, it just rolls along. Many years ago, there were literally hundreds, hundreds, maybe thousands of seltzer men. The numbers have dwindled down over the years to the point where now I'm the last shop in the city that bottles, and I have a, a handful, a little more than a handful of seltzer men. Gomberg Seltzer Works has been around since 1953. My grandfather started it back then. We, we were all over Brooklyn. We had the bottling shop, obviously, and we had a seltzer truck, and my father did make home deliveries. Uh, but after a while, wound up giving up the truck. We've been just uh, a filling shop ever since. How do we make seltzer? Seltzer is made with New York City tap water. It goes through a triple filtration process. From there, it gets drawn into a carbonator, a small vessel that takes water and CO2, carbon dioxide, and mixes them together. And in there is seltzer. He's, he's gone now, but I, I know an old man who actually used to bottle seltzer for the Russian Tsar. So, you know, it goes back at least that far. The delivery business has uh, declined over the years for a number of reasons, one of them being uh, women in the, work, in the workplace, which I think is a great thing, but uh, they're not home any longer to accept the deliveries. Two liter and one liter plastic seltzer bottles in the supermarkets, uh, that hurt the business a lot. And the moving to Florida of many of the, uh, the old uh, customers, We bottle at 60 pounds in this heavy glass bottle. The plastic bottles that are sold in the supermarkets don't hold anywhere near that. When you open that plastic bottle, you get that tss, That's all, all the pressure going out right there. Here, there's a valve inside the head. When you squeeze the trigger, you're releasing just the seltzer that you want to release. When you let go of the trigger, that valve reseals itself, so the pressure remains in the bottle. Good seltzer, when you drink, when you drink good seltzer, you should not be able to gulp it down. Good seltzer should hurt. It should hurt the back of your throat. That's, that's what good seltzer is. When the bubbles tickle the back of your throat, you know you have good seltzer. You want some? There are plenty of people still drinking seltzer. A lot of old Jewish customers, a lot of old Italian customers. A bit of a push with some of the younger, younger crowd now. And I also get some phone calls from old people who remember the days when they used to get seltzer delivery, uh, and they remember it with affection. And all they want to do is just talk about it. If you grew up with this bottle on your dinner table, it's something that uh, you remember fondly. It brings back memories to, for a lot of people, good memories. It's not just a drink, it's a piece of history. <laughs> 